So you want to create a blog to put on your website with Go High Level or the Smart Virtual Solution System built on Go High Level. So this is how you do that. So this is actually more about putting that blog onto your website. So I am in one of my client sites and I'm going to move this modal and we're going to go to on the left hand bar we're going to go to sites. So at the top you're going to go to blogs. Now for this client I have already set up an actual blog site. So this is how to actually create and design a article so that would be published onto your blog site. This is how to actually do that design work. So this is make sure that you have all of these other pieces set up. If it's not, um, you can go ahead and work through that. That's not what this video is about. So I'm going to click right here because we don't want to do a new one. We want to have it all of the articles going into this one. So uh, we have no articles in this at this time and we're going to click on new post and I'm doing it here from this blue button because this create blog post button is going to disappear once we have our first one. So I want to get you used to doing this new post up here at the top. Now it's probably best to write your blog in a, a um, a, sorry, in, an, in a different type of document. So something on your computer, whether it's using Word or a Google Doc or something like that, go ahead and write your article first or so that you know what your title is. You know what your cover image should be. You know what your description is or you've already worked with ChatGPT or some sort of an AI system to get all of this already done for you. Because in the, to create the blog article right now, you must already have a title a cover image, your alt text for your cover image, and your post description. And this screen, you can see that there's these little red stars on all of these. So you must provide something in all of these areas before you can get to the designing and the writing of the blog. So it's best to have it written already so that you know what these things are going to be. Can you change them? Yes, you can, but it's a little bit easier to do it somewhere else than you know bring it in here. So you would have a title. So I'm just going to do title. And yes, I know it's bad. We're going to add your cover image and it tells you how big you should do that. So you can go into Canva or whatever your favorite design program is and add an image. So I'm going to change that image and I'm just going to grab something. I don't care what the size is. And then I'm going to do an alt text and I'm going to do test description. Okay, I have to have all of these filled in order to move to the next stage. So we're going to create this post. And then it's going to take us to a page that looks an awful lot like that document in like a Google Doc or a Word Doc or something like that. This is what it's going to look like. So you've got your blank page. Now what it might have done is it might have given you, because this is your first one, it might have given you a whole big uh, document of other stuff because it's showing you what the system could look like if you used that. So you can go ahead, just copy all of that or, or just uh, um, select all of that and delete it but this is from the blank page. So I have a whole bunch of gobbledygook from a, another document that I have. I've got it copied on another screen. So I'm just going to make sure I'm active here and then I can paste it. So have a whole bunch of information. You can see that I've got some formatting to things. I've got links to things. So all of this was already created in something else. But maybe what I want to do is I want to add in this particular section, I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to add a um, an image. Okay, so this area actually looks an awful lot like using your Word document or your Google Docs. So if you click on these three dots, you can now add inserting an image, an audio, a video, your quote, your additional emojis, you can insert a divider if you wanted to have custom code so you embed something else. If you want AI to help you write this here in the system, you can do that. Um, and then you can go through all of those pieces. So say I want to add another image. So now that it opens this modal, you're going to use this blue button and you're going to say, okay, do you have this image already in the media library or do you need to bring it from something else 
or do you want to create it with the AI here in the system? Now, anything that you use AI for in the system, there is charges for that because the system, it's its nothing that I have any control over. The system, they charge me, so it's just, it's just forwarded on to you. That comes out of the billing wallet that you have. So if you use the AI, you absolutely can, but just know that that does come out of your, um, your wallet system as well. So we're just going to upload from the media library. If you have something that you've uploaded from somewhere else, you can do an upload file. But if it's something maybe you already have, then you can grab something else. So I'm gonna grab this one and I'm just going to double click on it and throw it in. Now I can change the size of this, but I'm gonna leave it here for right now. Now they do want you to have an alt text. So alt text for SEO means it's what does this image portray because this is um, alt text is actually for people that are um, site challenged so this is woman sitting on a couch not coach reading a blog article okay so I said blog article specifically because that's what you know maybe that's what this article is going to be talking to and now I'm just going to insert that image so you can see it's massive We've also got the ability to change the size. So now we can make it different sizes and not have it quite so big, okay? Um, and do those, those different pieces. If we put it here and I do the three dots and I insert an image and maybe I do that same one again just to make my life a little bit easier. Um, Let's do that and we're going to make it 300 by 300 and in, oh, and I insert the image. There is not currently a way to make it so that it does have the paragraph over here, um, but that might be coming in, in coming weeks. So once you have the, the article looking the way that you want it to look, it's it's got the, the design that you want, you would save it, then you would continue and you could potentially publish it. So I'm not going to save it. I'm not going to continue because I don't want this published on my client's site. I'm just going to hit the back button. And yes, I know I'm going to be losing these changes. You can actually see that this blog post is in a draft mode and that it was created by me manually. Um, and then I could pu publish this if I wanted to. I'm actually going to highlight it. I'm going to come over here, find the three little dots, and I'm going to delete it because I don't like it. I don't want this published on my client's site. So that's how you go through and design the, the, the blogs. If you have any questions, I'm always here for you um, and happy to help. Thanks so much.